Hey guys, my name is Ryan Gibbon with ACI Distributors. I'm a service rep. I'm responsible for training and uh, service for sales and service for all of the ACI territory along with a couple other guys. Uh, I did a video a few years ago about the Mark III Mikhail Baylor and the net system. Uh, it's way overdue uh, doing one for the Mark IV series. Uh, I'm going to go through, talk step by step about what each part is and, and what they do and I'll point them out and we'll eventually hook the thing up and get it running um, and show you that net system moving. Um, we want to do that really before you go to the field every time is check your net system, make sure that it works and runs properly before you go to the field, before you put hay in it. Because if it doesn't, there's no reason to go to the field. Get it working in the barn, and then go to the field. So first of all, I'm going to... All right, so on the Mikhail Baylor uh, Mark IV, there's a couple parts that I want to point out, and I'm gonna go over a quick overview now. This pulley here, this is your drive pulley that feeds the net into the chamber. It is a one-way pulley. It locks in one direction so that when this clutch comes on, it turns a pulley and it pushes your pushes your net into the chain into the chamber on top of the moving roller. You're going to hear a lot about the moving roller. The moving roller is this green pulley right here. This green pulley, uh, basically, that moving roller is what puts the net into the chamber to be picked up by the bale. Once the net is picked up by the bale, this overrunning overrunning bearing here lets this freewheel and it pulls the net into the chamber onto the bale. Um, this moving roller must turn. It should turn freely and it should turn and you should always check it at the beginning of the season. Um, you can loosen it up by hand or with a wrench to, to get it moving if you need to. The quick way to do that is to uh, take the uh, take the pulley the belt off and turn it by hand. If it won't turn easily by hand, then you need, you need to get it loosened up. Alright? So you take the pulley off, make sure she's free, and this pulley should turn by hand. If it doesn't work, you might have to replace this belt. Or there's some guys who put double springs on this section right here. Okay, so I'm going to talk about what I was doing to check to see if the uh, knife, if the net system was working properly. What I was doing when you were seeing those motions move is when I, I hit the net button that normally feeds net when you're in automatic mode. And when that you hit that button, that's going to release the pressure on the moving roller. And you will see that this little black and white circle here remains black and white. Now, my Reuben roller has moved back, so it's in a place ready to tie. Now, when I get ready to cut, you'll want to hit the scissor button, and that scissor button will turn, show that black, little black and white circle turning white. Whenever that black and white circle is white, your net knife is down, and the machine will not try to tie. So, Oftentimes the moving roller or, or I mean the bill hook doesn't reset properly and When it doesn't that will turn white while you're bailing and when that happens You know without a doubt you're gonna mistie the next one unless you manage to reset it and turn it black and white again 